Hey guys, Sheriff Josh, and I'm back again. After my geocache said I'd show you these dinosaur footprints, so I came over here to where they are. You can see the caching hole right over there, down in the bottom of that. So yeah, here you go. Theropod dinosaur footprint right there. And uh, right over here, because I took the tour, and I know these things now. Oh man, right here. This is actually an Ankylosaurus footprint. Or is it this one? I think it's this one. Yeah, look at there. You got the uh, one, two, three, four, five toes, and then a, a little one off to the side here. Ankylosaurus walking right through here. I believe I'm probably stepping on his other one right down here. And you can see his, his gait. Now, what's really interesting is you come up here, you can actually walk along a path that a dinosaur left behind. Look at that. He walked right this way. He's taking steps, taking steps. Look at that. Big, beautiful dinosaur footprint. Just, maybe we could get the, the contrast with the, uh, shadows this way it's very hard to see right now <laughs> the sun's pretty much right above me but yeah obvious dinosaur footprint right here so you look down you can see this used to be a mud pit back in the cretaceous period and uh this must have been the last of the mud i guess you know they were walking through it as it solidified and uh oh look at that one Nice one crossing the path of this one. So anyways, yeah. All, each one of these little divots, each one of these little holes, a dinosaur footprint. Now there's some where some people tried to come take a cast of the footprint, but the mud here is so porous that it just held on to the cast material. Look at that dinosaur footprint. Now, let me show you my hand in the middle of it. So, that's what we're looking at, folks. That is, that's huge. That is a theropod that you did not want to mess with. That must have been 20 foot high, 14 feet at least. Um, so yeah, if you ever find yourself in El Paso, Texas and you want to see some dinosaur footprints, you could Google that and uh, perhaps find out a day when they're having the tour down here. Otherwise, kind of hard to see on your own. Um, like I said, I'm going to different parts of this little mountain today to look for geocaches. Um, also, if I find any more dinosaur footprints, I'll make sure to show you. Thanks for joining me. Have a good one.